Hi guys, in this video we're going to see different ways in which we can classify meta heuristics, different meta heuristics. This video right now may be hard to follow because we haven't seen any particular meta heuristic yet, but once we've seen a few of them in, in a couple of weeks, my advice is that you go back to this video and probably some of the things we're going to talk about will will make um, much more sense then. Okay, so we're gonna see five different criteria that we may use to classify meta heuristics. Whether the meta heuristic is inspired, inspired by nature or not, whether it uses memory or not, whether it's deterministic or stochastic, whether it's iterative or greedy, and finally, which is probably the most important or, or the most used uh, criterion to classify meta heuristics, whether it's population based or single solution based. OK, so let, let's start with each of them. Uh, there are many meta heuristics that have been inspired by nature, by usually animal species that have been able to solve really complex problems through evolution. Um, some of them are evolutionary algorithms, are artificial immune systems that are inspired mainly from biology. There's a whole field in optimization called particle swarm optimization and swarm intelligence and, and these algorithms are based in in colonies of ants or, or bees and there are other meta heuristics like simulated annealing that are inspired by certain physical processes. We can also classify meta heuristics according to whether they use some information from the past and, and in order to do that they are going to require some memory or, or not, they, they, they just don't use any, any information whatsoever. Another criterion is whether they're deterministic or stochastic. As, as we saw in the previous video, most meta heuristics are stochastic. They include a random component, but there are some of them, like local search and taboo search, that are deterministic. And this means that if you start from the same initial condition, you're going to get exactly the same solution, the, 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 the same result. OK, truth be told, many of these algorithms um, select the initial condition randomly. So if you take into account the selection of the initial condition, pretty much all meta heuristics are, are stochastic. But if we if we fix an initial condition, there will be some meta heuristics, the, the ones that are deterministic, that will always give you the same solution. And there are others, most of them, that even when you fix the initial condition, they will give you potentially different results because they, they've got some random component um, among them. So these stochastic meta heuristics, rather than giving you one single solution that will give you a whole distribution of, of solutions. And that, that is something we have to take into account at the time of, of assessing the performance of, of these algorithms. Another classification is whether the meta heuristic is iterative or greedy. Iterative algorithms are those that start with, with one solution, one complete solution or, or many complete solutions and then they transform these solutions along time. They, they make changes like, like here, they may perform an inversion on, on a substring of, of, of the solution or they may do insertions, they, they make some changes to the solution. While greedy algorithms start from an empty solution and, and what they do is they build step by step the solution is um, until they arrive at the complete solution and that's the end of the algorithm. So th those are greedy algorithms, but mo most meta heuristics are iterative. They, they already start with potentially a random solution, but a complete solution in any case, and, and they change it along time. And finally, probably the most important uh, criterion or the one that is uh, most used 
is whether the meta heuristic is single solution based or population based. Single solution based, which are also called trajectory uh, based algorithms, are algorithms that at any point in time they're working with one single solution. Okay, while population based uh, algorithms they work with a whole population, a whole army of solution, solutions at the same time and they may use these different solutions or the knowledge we have about, about these different solutions will be shared uh, in the population. So if it's a nice way of looking at this is that single population um, solutions is, is like one hiker walking uh, in the mountains just by himself while population based would be a whole group of, of hikers trying to find the peak and crucially they may exchange information so one of them may say well this looks really promising guys you should come up here and and explore this or exploit this region because it, it, it really looks very promising uh, as you may guess uh, as, as you may guess Usually, population-based metaheuristics uh, use more of explorative approaches. They, they they tend to explore a wide a wider range of the of the search space, while single population-based metaheuristics usually focus more on intensifying the search. On that, they're more. Uh, at the end of exploiting solutions rather than ex exploring a lot. So as, as we said, I, I, I know this video may not make a lot of sense to you right now, but hopefully once we've seen a few of these meta heuristics, you, you will see that these criteria can be, can be useful. Okay, thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, bye-bye.